Do my window up a bit. Good morning, Rudolph. Oh, everyone used to say that to me in school. I always had the brightest, reddest nose ever. I uh, must have low circulation there because it just goes bright red every time. How's everyone doing? Five people in here. Good morning, everybody. It's currently, I don't even know what time it is. Uh, half 11, so barely the morning. Where are we? How are you doing, Mavis? Opt in for the chance. What is that? All right, Carlton. How you doing, mate? Hello, John. It's freezing, folks. I haven't been able to do anything for, I don't know, it's been about 10 days now, I think I've had off. Morning, Shane. Morning, future pressure washing. All right, D. Hello, Sylvia. Minus 10 yesterday, Spark Monster says. Hello, hello. Oh, everyone's in here now. 62 people. You can tell everyone's off work, can't you? Uh, sunny Cypress, I'm very jealous of that. Very jealous of Dio. Caroline, hello, Frank. Hello, Monts. Hello, Monts, eh, Monts? Dean, D, Holly. Minus 11 in Scotland, so I should count myself lucky then. I don't know what it is. Let me check on that van, actually. What time we're on, or what uh, temperature we're on. Minus, minus one at the moment here, so it's actually not that cold now. It's just the, the nights. It just freezes everything up. So I can't do anything. Chris is chimney sweeping. Hello, Lisa. Morning, Sledge. How you doing, bro? Hello Lottie. No, we've got no snow. It's been too cold for snow here, I think. So we've had like tiny little bits when it's warmed up slightly, but it's actually really nice blue skies today. But yeah, it's just the evenings. I can't do nothing. Everything's frozen. I left some water in my tank, silly, stupidly as well. Um, so the bottom of my tank is frozen from the other day, which is great. Uh, yeah, can't do nothing. Um, I'm supposed to be on holiday. Yeah, too right. Hello, Neil. Cold, van frozen. Me too, mate. Hello, Glenn from Qatar. I bet it's nice over there, isn't it? Shane says, you got me looking to start my own pressure washing business next year. Good luck to you, mate. All the best. I'd recommend starting in March, though, to be honest. You don't want to start at this time of year, for sure. Um, minus one, zero in West Lancashire. Good morning. Morning, Arlene. Morning, everybody. Whoa, 100 people in here. Sorry, guys, I'm not going to be able to keep up too well. Did you drain the pump? Yeah, I th well, I thought I drained everything, but yeah, just frozen over. Too scared to even attempt to start my machine up, to be honest, even after I thawed the tank. So um, I think it actually frozen in the in the day the first time, which was not fun. Um, hello, Holly. Darren, living the dream. Minus 11 last night. Yeah, mate, it's horrible, isn't it? It's, I was just said to Darren on Messenger, it's uh, it's caught me off guard proper because usually December's like fine. Um, I've remembered some years in the last couple of years. I've just I've been in a t-shirt still in December, just cracking on and getting things done. But like even last year, I was I think I was cleaning roofs up until about the twentieth of December, and none of them were frozen. It's usually January when you have to start preparing. But yeah, it's got us this year, hasn't it? it really has take your holidays now feet up yeah i have been it's it's been awkward though because you sort of have a list to do and i was like absolutely like fully beast mode in it i was like so close to finishing everything i just had like gutter jobs to do um and then it was like last week when it first froze and i turned up to just add like three to do and then i had some commercial ones to get done and i was done for the year and i was like right get some booze in have a you know and have a great uh, great christmas but yeah i've been like abruptly stopped before i've had the chance to go which has been annoying so yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna try next week to get a few bits done, but I think it's meant to be warm next week. Uh, thanks, Daniel. Hello, Fraser. Hello, Sean from the US. December, it's normally mild, but minus one here in Cardiff during the day. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? It's come really early this year. Paul says he goes away now. Yeah, I should have done, that's when I should do my holidays, really. I should get the most out of the year, to be honest. Um, thanks, Crystal. Hope you have a nice Christmas too. Hello, Drumming Muppet. Thank you very much. I'll be collecting shopping trolleys at two o'clock today up in North Wales. That's going to be rough. I don't envy you there. Um, shout out to Adelaide. Your videos kept me going at my lowest after a car accident. Ah, oh, well, I hope you're doing okay now, Mitch. Thanks for watching the videos, mate. All the best to you. Mavis, I've broken ice every morning for about two weeks now. Yeah, it's nuts. It's come so early this year. Hello, everyone. Sorry if I can't keep up, guys, and I miss anyone. Um, water and cold weather, not a great combo. Yeah, it kind of kills the business, doesn't it? But um, again, I expect it in January, you know, it's uh, 
it's just part and parcel, but night in December. Um, what does everyone think of this, by the way? I've got some new uh, branding done for some new work where it cost me an arm. Look, look, look at the back. I've got it on the back as well. Pretty smart, isn't it? Keeping me nice and warm, at least. Glad to hear it, Mitch. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Always time to crack on. Looks very smart. Thanks, everyone. Oh, I must have good... I'm, I go to my live streaming spot, which is Morrison's Car Park, and the, the, uh, the 4G is really good, so... It's nice to get the, usually I'm sort of delayed here by about 10 seconds on the on the messages. Matt says, custom merch is so expensive to get printed. You're telling me? Um, there was like cheaper ones on there. So there was like, you could get like a jacket and some trousers for like 50 quid or something. Um, but I thought it's going to be bad quality. So I want something that's going to last. So I think I only got two pairs of, of everything. I got some trousers and a jacket and like, it came to like 500 quid or something. It's crazy, but hopefully it will last. Um... Mavis says you need a water heater for your water tank. Yeah, I've, I've had a frost protection thing put on, um, but to be honest, it was like I've been plugging in every night, but it's the daytime that's screwed me, I think. So um, you just don't think, do you? It's like it warms up a bit, but to be honest, it's been like minus three in the day sometimes, and you just sort of forget, don't you? So I made a mistake. I will not make that mistake again. Davis says, ouch, 500. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. I thought I was looking at the options and it was like it's insulated, it's warm and stuff. So I thought screw it, I might as well just pay the money. It's, it's worth it. What was that? Hong Kong, Hong Kong, not fully blocked yet. Not like mainland China, no VPN needed. Yeah, that's crazy. What's going on over there? It really is nuts, isn't it? Yeah, I hope you're staying, staying safe. I know it was. Um, I don't know what it's like now. The news has stopped reporting on it over here, but for the short time that it was reporting on it, um, yeah, it didn't look good with all those protests and stuff. So yeah, all the best, mate. Um, by cheap, by twice, I completely agree. My water in the car isn't defrosting because it's so cold. Screen wash meant to be okay at minus 15. Yeah, I've got no screen wash in mine either. I tried this morning, nothing, it's completely frozen. Thank you, Matt, appreciate that. Yeah, it's a shame because I had like a few videos planned that I was going to get done, um, sort of on the run up. I was going to try and get ahead just so, um, you know, I could have a, a, a nice break and stuff and not have to think about videos and stressing about getting them out, but it's just stopped me in my tracks. I can't do nothing. So um, I'll st I've still got a few planned. I just need to wait for the, the weather to calm down a bit because I can't do anything. I don't want to risk starting up any of machines. I don't want anything to go bang. So um, got a few culverts to clear out down in the fields. Not looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be frozen, isn't it? You're going to need to take like a pickaxe with you. Um, I've got a fever from COVID. Can't regulate my temp. Your jacket looks great. Fingers crossed, all the best. Hope you feel better soon. I had COVID, I think it was about four months ago now, maybe. Um, yeah, I was like, it actually did, to be fair. It knocked me off my feet pretty bad. I was, um, did feel like I was dying. Uh, can't believe how freezing it is in December. It's so weird too, right? Just got off work myself, says Stephanie. Hi from Michelin, 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 Michelin. Hello, anyway. Wish I could grow a beard to keep me warm. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could grow a bit of a better one, to be honest. I don't know if anyone's watched my brother's channel, but he can grow an almighty beard, he can. I don't think he's got one at the moment, but yeah, it didn't give me the same same genes. I was trying to grow it out, and then I saw a few comments saying, oh, you look really scruffy, you should shave that off. I was like, oh, nice one, guys, I'll, uh, I'll do that then. <laughs> Hello, Disgruntled Vet Gaming, howdy from Texas. I wonder, what's, what's it like over in Texas? Because it actually it does, you think Texas is always hot, isn't it? But I don't think it is. It, I think it freezes really bad over there as well, doesn't it? Um, it's called winter for a reason. I'm sick right now too, went out Saturday night down Cardiff Bay. It was minus four, didn't layer up properly. Yeah, you've got to, uh, yeah, you've got to, got to wrap up warm, folks. Hello, Joel. Morning, Sid Green from Hull. Many thanks for the YouTube content. Always look forward to your releases. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for the support this year. This isn't my end of year live stream. I probably will do one over Christmas. Um, I'll try and do something fun and, and say properly say thank you to everyone. But it's been nuts. It's been a great year. So I thought I got really lucky the first, like, two years ago when I first started. Um, and it was like it, the channel went crazy and it did really well. And I thought, uh, next year it's going gonna, it's gonna to calm down, isn't it? So... Uh, but it didn't we've we've had a great year so fingers crossed to the next one as well and hopefully i can get some more fun videos out so next year i said it was going to be this year but next year is the year of collaborations for sure so i think i've already got one planned in january but i'm going to try and link up with a lot of guys that you know um that you have probably watched their channels before and stuff and i think that'll be fun um and just try and do some cool projects yeah and do a few like crossovers 
of businesses if I can, if I can find some guys with interesting YouTube channels that have got a completely different business to mine. It'd be cool to like join forces for a day and sort of do a a cool job on, they could do their job and I can do mine on the same same project, you know, I think that'd be wicked. Um, the goatee style suits you, bro. Yeah, I should, I should probably like smile it up a bit, shouldn't I? And that might look cool then. Uh, where is the tea? I've got none. I've just got a Red Bull. I was tired this morning. Izzy, Izzy says, need to come back to our Sid. Need some shoes cleaned again. Ah, oh, I remember that, as if. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, any time, let me know. Yeah, that was great. They, they came up well as well, those it was Vans, wasn't it? Those little white Vans. They came up great. As if, I've forgotten all about that then. Future says, can't work either. Off to the gym to keep fit, to clean. Roofs are hard work too, right? That's why I need to start doing. I, I got myself, I'm preparing for the, for the new year. So I got myself some vitamins, which are for muscles and bones and stuff. And I'm like, I, I remember, I always tend to get injured in the cold. And I think it's because I don't warm up properly and I just start cracking on. So yeah, I'm going to try and take it seriously this, uh, this coming year. Um, Stephanie says, it's been so awesome to see your channel grow. You deserve all the sex. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I uh, couldn't have done it without everyone here, which is big thanks to you guys. Well, I'm just a humble cleaner, guys. I just clean stuff and, and make videos on it, so it, it still blows me away how many people watch it. It's nuts, so, yeah. And I hope everyone's enjoyed the videos recently. I've been trying to do a bit more of, like, a, instead of it just being, like, this is a job, clean it, music, blasting, I've tried to sort of video a bit more of the day so you kind of see what goes into a day because a lot of people know that it's hard work and stuff, but they don't realise actually how long that it takes. Um, cause it just looks super quick on the video, but yeah, it's it's long days. It really is. Uh, sorry if I'm missing anyone, guys. It's um, there's a lot more people in here than I thought would be in here at half eleven in the morning. So 163 at the moment. Thanks everyone for joining in. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any questions or anything, I've got time. I'm in no rush. So if you need to know anything, um, just ask away. Thank you, Zinc. Matt says get some Wellman vitamins. Yeah, I think that was some of the ones I got. Hi, Cat. Um. Where are we? Have a great Christmas, thank you buddy. Hello Eleni. 15 degrees in Greece, so not too bad. That's quite a warm day, isn't it really? Morning Stephanie. Um, nip down under and collaborate with Ollie and Ratty. He unblocks drains. Well, if I could, I would, it would be nuts. It would be nuts. So I'll have to, I've spoken to him before, he's a, he's a nice guy. I will have to try and uh, try and do a collab with him one day. It's just. A bit of a bit of a stretch, isn't it, going all the way to uh, all the way to Australia? But I'd I'd love to. I've always wanted to go. We'd have to get some mega video planned. Uh, hello from Brazil. Morning, Livy. Hello, Alex. Prefer the music choices recently. Yeah, that's, I've said it before, but it's the hardest thing to do is find consistently good music. It's really difficult. It takes me ages. Um, sorry, guys. I'm getting dry mouth already. I've lost everyone again. As soon as I take my finger off the screen, guys, the messages disappear. Jake says, probably the best exterior cleaning channel on YouTube. I've picked up a lot from your videos. That was a goal, so I'm, uh, I'm pleased to hear that, mate. Thank you. Um, Ship says, I am Partridge as well, living on a narrow boat, and it's minus six here today. Fellow Partridge. Power washing itself without the right equipment is rough did my garden with a 10 year old machine yeah it's no joke is it slow it's a it can be a slow job with a with an old machine for sure uh monse foster says i think you missed my question about what your plans are for the holidays just relaxing chill out spend some time with the kids um drink a lot of beer because I'm, I'm doing a health cleanse next year as well at the start so get my get my beers in now before i, I do a dry january um and that's it i think yeah i'll, I'll do a few videos i'll it's basically just preparation season, really. I will have some time off, obviously, but I've got to try and get everything in order for next year because as soon as I have a break, I start going crazy. So it's no good. I need to kind of stay a little bit busy. Um, even just, I've had like 10 days off and I just start losing my mind. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's not good for me, really. I need to be busy and doing stuff. Otherwise, I just start getting really lazy. Um, Mitch has got your accommodation sorted in Australia. If you head over, mate, beers are on me. Sounds good, man. I'll hold you to that. Don't think I won't either. Matt says, check out Epidemic Sound for music. Yeah, I use Epidemic Sounds. Um, I think it's like 15 quid a month or something for the license. It's great. Loads of music on there. But once you've used a certain few songs, it just only recommends you those type of songs again. And it can get hard to find good music that sort of is, is new. 
Uh, Ricardo says, how safe the scaffolding towers? As safe as the person putting them up. So, um, yeah, as long as everything's level, almost perfectly, get it as perfect. It's not always possible to get it perfectly level, but as, as level as possible when you do your outriggers correctly, you've got no worries. It's one of them things, just triple check it. And you'll know, what, even when you get up to the second level on it, before you get to the top, you'll know straight away if something's not right. Um, because they are only small, compact things really. So if there is a slight wobble, you'll feel it straight away. So just jump down and, and sort it out. Laura says, it's a bit cold today, minus five. Morning, Sid. You're working in this weather. No, I'm not working. I haven't been able to work for quite a while now. Um, Qantas collab, you could clean a jumbo for a free ticket. I would do that in a heartbeat. I really would. So um, yeah, that's something I do know of somebody who's got some planes and stuff that do need cleaning at some point. So I really need to try and get in contact with that guy again and get that done. And there were some nuts planes as well, proper jets. Um, where are we? Daniel says, got a patio job tomorrow. Don't know whether to get my filming guy over for a winter edit. Yeah, go for it. Film everything. Film everything. It's funny, the most interesting stuff that's ever happened to me at work are the jobs where I thought, oh, I ain't going to bother filming this one because it'll be boring. And then something ridiculous has happened. And I'm like, damn, I wish I had a film that. It would have been wicked. Hello, Cheryl, all the way from Tasmania. Um, David says, do you have any more playgrounds planned? That's something I always hunt for. Um, it just gets a little bit difficult. So it's a case of if people aren't reaching out to me for them, um, I've got to go hunting for them. And like you could send as many, you could send like a, an offer to like a hundred schools and you might only hear back from two. And then you've got to organize days with them to then go and see the playground. Um, and then it has to be done in a time when the kids aren't at school, obviously. So then you've got weekends. That depends if the caretaker wants to come in and give you the keys on the weekend, which is not all the time because a lot of the people can't be bothered. Um, yeah, so it turns into a bit of a, a stress just to try and get like one job. So a lot of those playgrounds that are on the channel, it's, it's taken like months for me to actually get them. Um, they're quite difficult to get. You think, it's like I always said, the hardest thing to do, guys, is to do anything for free because people just don't trust it. They're like, who's this guy and why does he want to do this for free? Um, I'm trying to say you don't understand. Here's a link to the channel. It's what I love to do, but yeah, it does, uh, doesn't always work out that way. So I will try again next year. I've got, it's, I'm going to do more of a, I'm, I've worked so hard the past couple of years on the business and just trying to like ramp up the business and, you know, get some financial security for my, for my family. But this next year, I'm going to kind of do a video focused year really and try and do some really cool stuff. And then, uh, start ramping up the business again the year after. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, got a nice blizzard going on here in South Dakota. Come on over if you want frozen. Oh God, yeah, I bet. There's a guy I watch who lives in Wisconsin um, and it's like mad, crazy snow already there. It's nuts. Nicholas says, my husband watches you every day. He's starting his own pressure washing business all from watching you. Wicked, glad to hear it. Good luck to him as well. I'm sure he'll do absolutely fine. Um, where are we? Sorry, sorry again, guys, if I miss you. Just send the same message again um, if, if I miss it. And it's and it's something you need to know. Jim's detailing says, I'm a detailer. How do you keep your water tank from freezing? You've got to drain everything out. You can like run antifreeze through it as well. Um, yeah, you just got to make sure everything's drained out, which is the bloody mistake I made um, just before I stopped. So just speaking, there's a guy parked up next to me who's a uh, wheelie bin, not a wheelie bin. Um, yeah, like a bin cleaning business, like bins, house bins, you know. Um, it's still there, actually. He's machines frozen. We both parked up in Morrison's with frozen machines. Um, so I was just chatting to him, and he said his is frozen today, so he was just out working today. Um, he's already done a few bins in the morning, cleaned them out. He just parked up, went into Morrison's to get some, some breakfast, frozen. And I can literally see the icicles at the bottom of his van because he's got a leak, leak in the back as well. So, yeah, we're just screwed, absolutely screwed. Um... Just saying, I spent a week holiday in Tasmania in January. You and your family can avoid a horrible winter. Yeah, I think probably next year, that's what maybe I'll do, I think. Just do a big winter winter holiday. Obviously, make sure we get back for Christmas and stuff to see family, but yeah, get out of here while it's cold. Monse says, were you afraid wary of heights before you started this job? No, I've always been completely fine with heights. He's trying to start up his machine. I can hear him, can you hear that? <laughs> Um, no, I've always been completely fine with heights. So when I had, I had some anxiety issues for like a year and then that gave me vertigo 
and then the vertigo made me really scared of heights because my vision used to go all funny um, if I went up too high. But that's gone now. I've, I've managed to managed to get over that. Luckily, otherwise I'd be <laughs> wouldn't be having a good time now, would I? How do you keep warm during the day? Um, with the work I do, it's like it's really easy to stay warm because it's especially if I'm cleaning a roof, it's it's quite hard graft. So within an hour of working, I'll be down probably just to a hoodie or a, or a t-shirt. To be honest, even on like quite a cold day. Um, you just warm up really fast. Um, oh, what's that? Somebody sent salted fish with thirteen point thirty-seven dollars. Pay it forward. Thank you very much, salted fish. I will do. Um, that will go into my little donation account, and I'll uh, I'll make sure that it gets put good to put to good use. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, Gemma says, "How are you working in this cold weather?" I'm not working. I've I had a few errands to run today, and I'm just sat here. I thought I'd do a live and say hello to everyone. Uh, too cold for me. It's not too cold. I don't. I'd work in this. I don't mind. It's just I actually can't. Um, Chelsea, oh, I always said you're having fun, mate. All my kit's frozen today. Sections on the poles are frozen. Can't put it. Oh, tell me about it, mate. It's ridiculous. Dan says, when are you breaking up? I think I'm already done. To be honest, I think I was. I did like an Instagram post it about three days ago saying, yeah, I think I'm. I'm done. I don't think I can do it anymore. Which is annoying. It's. It's not even like the, the money or. Um, it's just a list. I'm just I'm one of them people. Like once I've, I've once it's down on paper, I just need to get it done. Um, otherwise, I can't rest. I think I've inherited that from my dad. Um, where are we? Looking to start a new business venture this year in the new year. Would love to come and spend some time with you for experience and pick your brains. Yeah, I'm up for it. I'll be offering that a lot more as well. I didn't so much this year just because I was there's a lot of new stuff for me this year. So obviously, I only started steam cleaning really this year heavily so i didn't really a lot loads of people saying oh can i come and do a day and learn and i was like to be honest i'm still learning myself so i don't really want to give anyone some bad advice uh but yeah but next year i'm pretty sorted now i know what i'm doing completely so no worries yeah just let me know send me an email and we'll figure something out in the new year uh where are we sorry guys again if i miss you James says, you're so inspirational. Oh, no, I'm not, mate. I'm not. Um, Shane says, any tips for a newbie in the field? Just do the best job you can. So treat every job as if it's in your nan's house. Um, and that will keep you on like a level track then. And you, you'll always do a good job. So just be the sort of person that you'd want somebody to do a job at a family member's. Um, and you'll be fine. What PSI and litres per minute are you using with cold water now? Um, depends what I'm cleaning to be honest. So the machine's like 21 litres a minute, which is usually always putting out. Uh, I'll turn the pressure down on tarmac. I'll turn the pressure down if I'm cleaning like walls and stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's job specific. It's a tough question to answer because it, it really does depend on the surface you're cleaning. But if you're cleaning like a block paving driveway, which is like tough as nails, just max. Every, I just have everything on max and just blast it. Um, Wendy, I missed a lot. I'll catch up. How's your foot? My foot's fine. Hello, Wendy. Been a while. Um, yeah, if anyone remembers that video that I did with my best mate, Jess, we were did a massive garden clearance. Um, I can't remember what that video was called. I don't know, I might link it or something if I can. But yeah, we did a big garden clearance. And then as we were streaming down, everyone was laughing at me because I put too much oil in my streamer. So it was just blowing out black smoke everywhere. I'm not a gardener, guys, so... Um, yeah, and as we were streaming, there was like a pole sticking out of the ground. Like it was only like a, about six inches off the ground, um, and I just stepped on it, and it just cracked my foot. I was, I think I took like two weeks off after that actually, and, and I didn't go to hospital. I should have, but it's, fingers crossed, it's been fine. <clears throat> but I think it's one of them. I'm still a little bit wary. Like if I jump off a wall or something, I'm like, oh, I should probably be careful there in case there's still a bit of a break there somewhere. Um, yeah, it was swollen bad though. It was swollen for ages. James says, nice branding, have to get some of that done myself. Yeah, I just thought it's, especially with the high-vis stuff, just looks a little bit more professional, doesn't it? I'm getting a lot more commercial stuff in, so I was sick of just wearing the little vest high-vis stuff because they like crumple up and they get dirty for quick. Um, where are we? If you have someone that's good with drones, you should do some videos of you cleaning roofs with the drone around you on the tower. Um, yeah, if I've got someone working with me, um, I'll just blow the drone fly the drone up while they're working i think in the last video i did that um but yeah one day who knows if we get to like three hundred thousand subscribers i could probably even just afford to hire a full-time filmer to come with me or something 
which would be cool. Have you ever tried the Erdo, Ergodyne gloves? I've been trying to find good gloves for dexterity. Yeah, that's the hardest thing with gloves is the dexterity. I've never found a pair that's been warm and left me with the use of my hands. These ones I've been using, like, these are great. Um, Shower Temrus 282, these ones. Um, these are awesome for warmth. They're like super, super warm. Your hands will never get cold with these, but they are a bit, yeah, tough to work with if you've got to do anything delicate. You can't pull your phone out your pocket and scroll, put it that way. John says hi from Derby, just up the road, mate. How's it going, John? Um, Burb, I grew up skiing and snowboarding. I don't put a coat on until minus 30. Yeah, I saw a thing the other day. It was about um, babies in like the Scandinavian places, like Iceland and stuff like that, or Norway. They'll, the parents will just put them in like a little sleeping bag and leave them outside when the babies for like a couple of hours um, so they can get like acclimatised to the weather and they said that's why like if you go to like Norway it will be freezing cold and you know an English person would have to be like proper wrapped up and they're just walking around in like a long sleeve t-shirt and they're, they're perfectly fine because they're used to it. Um, Gemma says, also your channel's epic, what you do is so lovely and your voice is satisfying to listen to, if that's not weird to say. Thank you very much, appreciate it. I think I'm super monotone and boring, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it, thank you. Merry Christmas, Gail. Thank you very much for that. Where's the Park Chujic Serial Cleaner OnlyFans link? Can't find it. Yeah, I don't think, uh, don't think I'll be allowed to do that one, folks. Um, Zach says, Sid, would you be interested in coming to South Coast to clean a penthouse roof? Great views. I would. I would love to. If that's your home, mate, let me know and we'll we'll figure it out. I'd. Uh, I couldn't turn it down, could I? It'd be amazing. A nice little trip. Head out there for a week and uh, blast a cool video out. It'd be fun. Thank you, gamers. Ch with one euro forty nine. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Really appreciate it. Super kind. Thank you. Um, James says antifreeze and you pump overnight. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. Um, Merry Christmas, Johnny. Thank you, mate. Um, Chelsea, do you still offer the business advice stuff? I've worked for a commercial cleaning company for 16 years, but thinking of flying solo. Yeah, mate, it's still there. There is an email. I'll, I'll probably have to start that again as well. I got so busy because that was going to be like a little side project I was going to do. Um, I ended up getting so busy that I haven't even opened that email for a while, so I should probably get that started again. But I think it was partridgehelp at hotmail.com or something like that. If you go back probably 10 videos ago, it might be in the links, maybe 15 videos ago, it might be in the links in there. Um, that would be some, if, if anyone's still interested in that, I can probably start doing that over Christmas while I'm not working actually. It's basically just, I'll do like a, a call, if you write like a list of questions down of everything that you, that you want to know, we'll have like an hour or two hour long phone call conversation and we'll just run through everything on the list. Um, and I'll tell you everything that I know. So it might not be the perfect advice, but it's what's worked for me. Um, which I guess is, is good enough, so. Uh, Anne-Marie says, would you clean Forgotten Graves? Yeah, I'd love to do that. I was thinking about doing that a while ago. Um, my great-grandma's grave is somewhere, and no one's attended that for a very long time, so I need to go and find that, because I think that would be like a, a cool video. It's just the parking's terrible. There's no parking at the church where it's at. I was meant to nip back when I was coming back from a, a job the one time and have a look, but I haven't had a chance to... Um, but I might, I might have to go and see. There might be, should be some parking somewhere. Um, and I'll try and find that. And that'll be a start. And then I could potentially offer that if it comes up comes up nice as well. Be a cool video. Um, where are we? Catch you again, Sid. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, buddy. Still 166 people in here. Thanks everyone for joining. It's been fun. It's killed killed some hours of the day. Instead of me being sat at home, just like going mental. Uh, Isaac Sharp, love your channel, mate. Inspired me to upgrade all my kit this year and take on more pressure washing. Good stuff. I'm glad to hear it. I, it. Everything got so much easier for me when I stopped being like tight and trying to save every penny. So like the first the first year, I was like, oh, I didn't want to spend. I'd get the money from a job and I'd be like, oh, I just want to keep it there as some security. Um, and then I thought, man, I just, I'm not getting anywhere. So then pretty much every job, I took out what I needed to survive um, and pay bills. And then everything just went back in, absolutely everything. So the, the last like two years of videos, this year I've actually started to take profit, but the previous two years, so most of the time that the channel's been around, to be honest, um, everything just went back in. Every single penny that I earned just went back in. So I was, I was, I was skint. But I was doing like really good jobs and really cool jobs and loads of uh, loads of work. 
that are still skins, but it's how I've managed to afford everything outright. So I don't have any finances apart from the van. Um, everything else is 100% paid, which is which is good. So it keeps you, it's taken me longer than it would take some people to get to a certain point. Um, Cause a lot of people I know just took out a big loan, took out like a 40 grand loan, bought everything, van, equipment, everything's done, you know, and they're ready to go. But I find that a bit scarier because then you take out that big loan and those big payments coming in every month, but you don't have the work yet. So I've done it the opposite way around, got the work in and slowly built up the kit. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but again, that's what's worked for me. Um, where am I? Morning Moonlight Charizard, nice to see you there. Ad admin of the live streams. <laughs> keeps everyone uh, keeps everyone on track. Um, thanks, Tom. Wendy says, I'll binge all the vids I've missed. Oh, thanks, Wendy, appreciate it. Gem White, stay warm, thank you. Can't tell you how excited I was to open YouTube and catch you on a live. Good afternoon from Kenya, all the way in Kenya. Thanks for joining in. What time is it over there? I have curiosity. Um, morning from Canada. Hello, Paul. What insurance cover do you have for steam cleaning? Which insurance company would you recommend? So who am I with again? I'm, I don't actually know the name of the people that insure me. I'm with um, Simply Business and they're like a middleman. Um, and they basically have just found, I think like there's two different companies because I've got like specialist stuff. So I've got like vehicle cleaning things, like commercial vehicle cleaning insurance. I've got um, basic exterior cleaning, jet washing, gutter stuff, window cleaning. I've got like loads of random stuff and I think there's a few different people that insure something, I don't know. But it, Simply Business is good because they, they find it all for you. You don't actually have to do any of the work for it. You just pay them, they take their cut and they get you insured. Um, it's the employer's liability that's the expensive stuff. Like this single business insurance is actually quite cheap. You'd be surprised how cheap it is, but um, even to be insured up to like 10 million quid, um, it's the employer's liability, which you will need if anyone, even if you've just got a labor for the day, you need employer's liability in case they break something. Otherwise you will be left with the bill and that's expensive, really expensive. It was like 10 times the amount that my personal insurance was. Um, Hello, Sheila. Hello, Charlie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Um, Paul says, what did you do prior to owning your own company? So I worked as a window cleaner for my best mate's dad for years. I was a, a care worker as well for a few years. Um, I did sales as well for about six months. Um, and then I just thought, oh God, I don't want to work for anyone anymore. I'd rather do it myself. Come down to Oz, do some pressure washing, then you can pop down the road and have a video with the drain addict. Yeah, it'd be cool, I'd love to. Hello to Bilu from Brazil. Hello, Alan. Inspired me to start my own business. Good stuff, mate. Good luck, hope, you have a, hope you've had a good year and have a have a even better year next year. Um, Mopsy says, maybe a silly question, but do they make something like a soft rollable attachment to take the weight off long extensions on a roof? The things you can get with like wheel is just not practical. People people say that a lot in the comments, but um, it's hard for me to explain. But you'd ha if you do the job, you'd understand. Um, and then even things like that, it will like increase the weight of the pole so much that it will make it nearly impossible to get it onto the roof. Sometimes if you're sort of set back from the house and you're on your scaffolding, because remember you've got to you've got to hold that full weight to get it onto the roof before you even start cleaning. And then when, once you're clean, it's fine because the water pressure keeps it up and then you can crack on. Um, obviously, it still hurts a little bit when you have to stretch a certain way to reach something that you can't get too sort of straight on. But yeah, attachments like that, they're just not practical. It kind of would just, when you do a roof, it would, it would work great if, there was, if you were just only cleaning what's straight in front of you. But if you see like any video that I do, I'm cleaning something to the left, up in the top corner here and all the way to the right, all in one, one go. Um, so there's a lot of sideways angles which just wouldn't work with things like that. Um, but yeah, I wish if there was something that could make it easier on the body, I'd definitely do it. But I think maybe something will be invented at some point, but it's one of them. The job's been around so long now that if there was something, it kind of probably would have been done by now. Um, all right. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate that, buddy. Keeping everyone at bay. <laughs> Hello, Amber. How are you? 
Hope you have a great day too, Amber. Uh, ging, ging, gin, gin, it soon. I can't speak. Merry, ging it soon. Jinjit soon. 182. Merry Christmas from Cambridgeshire. Thanks so much for your great content. Makes me question my career path, considering the level of satisfaction you must get from a job. Yeah, it is a satisfying job. I, I can't deny it. It is. It doesn't get old either. Like I've, there's still some jobs to turn up when I start cleaning. I'm like, yes, this is going to look great. Um, and there's someone like, oh no, this is going to look terrible, but we do what we can. Void Perfect, it's been a while. Glad I could catch our stream. Keep safe and cosy. Thank you very much, Void Perfect. Hello, Watson. Hello, Valdet, all the way from Jamaica. Hoot My Root says, finding a good insurance broker and being self employed is essential. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. There's a lot of people that will risk it and just think, like, oh, no, it'll be all right. But all it takes is that one thing. I mean, yeah, and then you can be completely and utterly screwed so it's best to get it done morning from florida morning helen uh have you ever thought about making a start course pack for pressure washing i have it's just time i just i wish i had the time i really do um it'd be something i'd, I'd absolutely love to work on but if i was going to do it it wouldn't uh, i could not put something out that was half-assed it would have to be perfect and it's like i don't have the hours in the day unfortunately I mean, I could, maybe it's an excuse, maybe I could, or there's always time to improve and work on stuff, but it's not something that I think I could probably do at the moment, but hopefully one day. Uh, John, hello, John, John's in here. I didn't realize how closely our previous work experiences were. I've been in sales and too, been in care work. Yeah, I think they, they because uh, John has his own business as well. Um, I think those experiences, they guide you really perfectly towards running a business because you learn from the care work how to deal with people and from the sales how to deal with people and being able to sell something so builds up a lot of confidence doesn't it both of those jobs um what happens to your pressure washing business when you get a hose pipe ban nothing it does because we're a business and need the water to operate um it doesn't affect us wendy with the five dollars thank you wendy i'm so stinking proud of how far you've come and got to see it from early on yeah thank you so much wendy wendy's been a very long time watcher um yeah, very long time watcher. So thank you very much for that five dollars, Wendy. I will uh I'll put it to good use, thank you. Chris Bin says, Me and my fur babies, love watching your videos. Well hello to you and your fur babies. Uh, how much a meter do you charge to clean a roof? Um and can you clean a top roof in one day? So it depends on the job, anywhere and the method as well. So anywhere from ten pound a meter squared to like thirteen pound a meter squared is my going rate. But I I always say to the customers and to people that ask, I actively look for a way to give them a good deal. Because if you turn up and it's a big roof that's like 150 meters squared, you think, oh, right, that's 1,500 pound or 2,000 pound. But if it's really easy to get to, if I know, right, that's only gonna take me a day and a bit, then I'll drastically start reducing that price to make it more affordable for everyone. So, um, you know, and then it's the opposite way. So if you turn up to roof and it's really difficult and it's like, right, that's going to be insanely hard. This, you know, it could be a small roof, but it could be four days of work. You can't charge that at the same rate that you charge the same size roof that was easy to get to, you know? So it's, you do, you can't, you can't do a blanket price for everything. The meter squared is just a guide, in my opinion. Same thing for driveways as well. It's like, that's like a lot cheaper because you're on the ground. It's a lot quicker, way quicker than a roof. You could, I could clean a hundred meter square driveway in probably an hour, an hour and a half. Um, but a hundred meter squared roof is two days um, or one day if it was really easy to get to and it was easy to hold. So um, yeah, totally different jobs really. Um, right, where are we? Sorry, missing loads again. John with the 899. John, you don't need to give me a, a penny, mate. You've, you've done enough for me, buddy. But thank you very much. I appreciate that, that Christmas present. Spend it, don't spend it and spend it all at once in the same show. <laughs> Cheers, John. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. Uh, where are we? I hope, hopefully I haven't missed any, any donations from anyone. If I have, I'm really sorry. Um, Isaac says, agree, putting money back into the business and we're doing it in 10 years. Yeah, it's it's the way. It's It definitely is the way. And that's when you see a lot of people, they'll be 10, 20 years into business and they're... Um, the growth has been really quite slow. I think that putting the money in gives you like a, a secondary stress in the back of your head, like you need to make it worth it, which kind of makes you work a little bit harder, if you know what I mean. It definitely has for me anyway. It's like as soon as I spend like that equipment in the back, that was like 
12, 13 grand or whatever it was now. As soon as I bought it, I was like, oh God, that's a lot of money. But it just made me like go next level for those next sort of like few months um, after that. Cause I was like, I need to make this money back. I need to make this money back and make it worth the, worth the time. But if I'd just stuck with the same machine I had before, I wouldn't be as like, as motivated, so. Um, where are we? Thank you, Brent. Hello, Katie. Katie Stewart, nice to see you here. Merry Christmas to you and the girls. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too as well. Stephen says, hope you're keeping warm. Yeah, it's rough, mate. Ricardo says, what pole do you advise for roof cleaning? Um, Phantom Carbon 50 foot is the one that I use. Um, it's great stuff. Remember, if you buy in a pole, you lose about six feet of it straight away by converting it to a high pressure one. Um, yeah, the Gardener poles are great. I use the Phantom just because I've got a discount code at Window Cleaning Warehouse as well, where I bought mine from, so it helps me save a little bit of money on it. Um, PEC10 um, will get you 10% off there as well. Richard, hello, mate. At least the sun's out. Yeah, it's actually a really sunny day. It's just freezing. Good morning from Guam. Thank you, Jolene. Thanks, Robert. Dong Dipper Adventures. That's a good name. Hello, mate. <laughs> Dong Dipper Adventures. Hello, mate. I'm having the week off, focusing on myself. Three hours in the gym, working strength and mobility. Yeah, for sure, mate, for sure. Um, gotta go. See you later, Crystal. Have a good new year, too. Uh, Cheshire Scarf, absolutely freezing out. Been walking the dog. Stunning, but Baltic, yeah, too, right? Thank you very much. Merry Christmas as well. Jake, morning, helping out the postman. Looks a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it looks like a postman, actually, don't I? Charlie, some people say you shouldn't pressure wash a roof and should soft clean it. It depends on the roof. That's That's all it is, so... A lot of people say, oh, no, the coating, worry about the coating. The chances are if you're being called to clean in a roof, it's going to be 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. The coating is gone anyway. All you'll have to do is just peel off some of the moss, and the moss is eating away at it anyway. So I wouldn't pressure wash a new roof at all. Um, there's no need to do it because the, the build-up wouldn't be that bad. And, yes, if you're using it then, you do have a chance of any of that. If the roof's like five years old, any of that coating that's just starting to think about wearing, you could potentially be taking more off. Um you know, doing it that way, but not really, to be honest. You, I use really low pressure anyway, but just in case I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, it's it's completely fine. And it, but again, it does depend on the roof. So sand face tiles and, and sandy roofs there. I don't like pressure washing them at all because you will be taking sand off without a doubt, but concrete, clay, things like that. Slate, lovely to pressure wash. Just don't turn the pressure down. You wouldn't use the same pressure on a roof as you would on the ground. Thanks, Paul. Crazy Hallers here. How's the holidays going? Yeah, it's going all right. I guess I'm in holiday mode now then, actually, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, going good, mate. Hope, hope you're well as well. Thank you, Cheshire Scarf, £3.49. Thank you very much. It's really kind of you. Appreciate that. Have a coffee on me. I will. I'll run in and get one in a minute. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. Pressure satisfaction. Watch out for those ice patches. Yep. Yep, too, right? Yeah, I wouldn't be pressuring any, uh, pressure washing any driveways. Um, at this time of year, to be honest. No chance. Thanks, Peter. 26 degrees in Qatar. I'm jealous. Off to the gym. See you later, buddy. Hello, Bailey from New Zealand. Um, Wedgie says, where'd you get your tools from? All over the place. I've got too many. Um, there's loads of good suppliers out there. So my pressure washing stuff is mainly from Precious Washers Stafford. Um, I highly recommend them. My poles and stuff like that for the extension poles there from um window cleaning warehouse which are good they've just got everything on their site um where else are we gutter vacuum stuff gutter vacuum systems are brilliant um i've been using their predator gutter vacuum that's the green big hoover basically uh that's awesome that's a fantastic bit of kit i've also got the industrial 85 from spinner clean as well um, which is also brilliant um very similar machines um, I think they're same size, same power, pretty much. Or there might be a few differences between them, but brilliant. Um, the poles from Gutter Vacuum Systems are, are wicked as well. They're really good. Um, they're the main companies, I think. GK Probe as well is my chemical guys um, and the chemical application stuff as well. So like the Dosatron, which doses my chemical before and helps pump it onto the roof. Well, not pump it onto the roof, but it goes through that before it goes up the pole onto the roof. Um, that's all GK Pro, so highly recommend them guys as well. Um, greetings from Turkey. Uh, Hala says, I'm in the middle of my evening football session, just joined in, so we've got a 20 minute break. 
Oh, nice one, mate. All the best. Don't tie yourself out too much. Um, if you want to pressure wash driveways in this weather, you're asking to be sued. Yeah, I mean, you can. Paths and stuff, because they will get slippy and stuff, but you just have to put like, salt down on it afterwards, and that will just ruin the, the look of it, really. So, yeah, but yeah, you are asking. Yeah, it's, to, be, to be fair, that runoff going into the road. Yeah, you're right about that, Shane, actually. Um, Ashwin, good morning from Mauritius. Oh, I bet it's nice over there. Mauritius, always wanted to go there. Thank you, Wayne, appreciate that. Rent to Rent with Ben and Craig says, Hi, Sig, I see you doing well. Thank you. Hope you are as well. Have a good day, says James. Thank you. May Shakira says, Good evening from the Philippines. Have you ever been in this side of the world? No, the closest I've got is Thailand, um, which is great. I've always wanted to go to the Philippines, actually, as well. I need to do a world tour. One day. Kathy says, Take care from Townsville in North Queensland, Australia. Thank you very much. I've got a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot of watches from that side of the world, which is awesome. You make me feel uh, cool about going there one day. Might bump into some people that watch watch the channel. Why are roofers so nosy? They're always eavesdropping. That's a good one. See you later, Eleni. Off to pick up the kids from school. Be safe on the roads. Right, I will have to head off in a minute, guys. Thanks everyone for joining in, it's been really fun. I haven't done one for a while, I keep saying I'm going to do it as a weekly thing, but then I uh, get a bit nervous to be honest before I start, it's quite nerve wracking. Because you just sat there and then you think, oh what if no one turns up, and then you just sat there speaking to yourself. But yeah, 156 people in here, 184 thumbs up, so thanks guys, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have a video out soon, I'm going to be recording some stuff this week. Um, it's not going to be anything crazy, it's just going to be a few little preparation videos and and some interesting stuff hopefully uh, we'll see i'll introduce you some kangaroos and koalas when you get here yeah that'd be wicked richard says what would you recommend to use the spray paint graffiti on brick wall um if you head to pure seal so if you google pure seal they've got um some great graffiti removal products um basically you sort of like apply it with like a paintbrush and then you can gently pressure wash it off. And from what I've heard, I haven't used it myself, but a lot of um, my friends have used it and they said it's, it's wicked stuff. See you later, Shane. Hello, Mary. Moonlight says, thank you for the stream, Sid. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you very much. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in and, uh, and working hard. Moderating the chats. I don't think we've had anyone, anyone be silly today, though, have we? No one's been mean to me. Um, Marcus, thanks Marcus. Merry Christmas to you as well. Kathy, Townsville's a great place. It's a garrison city with an army uh, army and RAF base. Oh, wicked. See you later, Wendy. Thanks again as well, Wendy. Thank you. Uh, Wedge says, what jobs would you usually do, take during the winter? Um, again, usually, guys, I can do stuff. It's usually never really stops me, but it's, yeah, it's looking a bit rough this year. But usually, it's a lot of gutter clearing stuff. Look how red my nose goes. A lot of gutter clearing stuff and um I, and usually roofs as well i do a lot of roofs in the winter um merry christmas lynn i will see everyone again before christmas by the way i will do like a christmas live stream so um not on christmas day obviously but yeah probably the day before christmas eve or something we'll, we'll see needs to get rid of that red ball no good for you i know man i know I don't drink them loads. I used to, I used to have like a one a day, but I've I've calmed down a bit now. All right then, I'm gonna head off, guys. Thanks for joining in. It's been a pleasure. Um, thank you for the donations as well. It's awesome. And thanks for everyone for the Merry Christmas wishes, and for watching the channel and supporting me throughout this past couple of years. It's been nuts. I really appreciate it. it changed my life. It has actually truly changed my life. There's I know there's a lot of people out there that will sort of pretend it's like oh yeah you know um, you don't. You don't don't make any money on youtube it's just a couple of pennies here and there but no it's a, it's a good living if you if you work hard for anyone out there starting youtube channels um you can do well on it um you can earn a decent living from it and it can help pay especially if you do it on your business it can help pay for some of the stuff that just like drags you down like fuel and things like that it's like i don't have to it's annoying but i don't have to worry about it so much because i'll get a little chunk at the end of the month because of everyone watching the videos um and it just helps 
sort of a few of them cost, a few of them invoices that rack up throughout the month. Some of them can just be completely covered by the YouTube sort of earnings at the end. So it's what what is a hobby, which I enjoy really much and it helps me out with the business as well. So, you know, it means that there's a few more jobs in the month where I can actually take the full profit from it instead of having to pay it out straight away, which is nice. So thank you everyone. I would uh, definitely not be in this situation and be this far ahead in my business if it wasn't for you guys watching the, the videos and stuff. So it's, uh, you know, the job and this channel are just like, they've sort of combined now. It's uh, not to say that one couldn't survive without the other, but they're, you know, they're sort of both doing well and, and supporting each other, which is awesome. And they're actually two separate companies now. So the um, the YouTube is actually officially a, a business. It's a, it's its own limited company now, which is cool. How cool is that? Just making videos is, I've got, it's a li my limited company now, which I think is, is awesome. So. I had like all the paperwork through sorting that out the other day, which is nuts. So, yeah. All right, then, folks, all the best. Thank you very much for everything this year, guys. I will see you again before Christmas, so it's not me signing off for the year. I will have a few videos out and another live stream. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Kiss, kiss. Bye-bye, bye-bye.